Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play Face Noir. Where apparently the object was indeed in another screen, and as I said, I did test that because you have five different places to go and trying to click on anything to see where the hell you will get it. Especially when it's a random object like this. So oh, there's a LED lamp in the whole house. A red light, indispensable object to create the right atmosphere. Uh. Okay. Why? Why? Why exactly? There is this mechanism here. Why is there a security <laughs> a puzzle to open this, you know, glass? box to get the lamp in order to change it's it. It's too hot to screw out with my bare hands. That makes no sense whatsoever. Why would they have that? That doesn't make any yeah, sense. I should be able to unscrew it with a handkerchief without burning myself. It's also a bad uh, well not a bad Good. I let part. it cool down a bit. Now I can get with this the room will Yes be yes. Not a bad part of adventures but a uh, a part of bad adventures. There is no logical reason why there is a lamp that you must press a combination of keys in order to open it and get the lamp out. That makes no sense whatsoever. Especially in this setting. It's frustrating when they do things like that. Like, we must uh, support a puzzle here, but have a reason for the puzzle, that, because that, that was nonsensical. And it's mostly annoying, and things like that make me want to say, yep, you know what, I have enough of this game. And then... Anyway, I know I've been complaining on the last couple of episodes, but stuff like that really annoy me. Ah, you again. Back home. Ask what? All right. Let's see. No clue. At least none. Yes, this lamp is perfect to get the right atmosphere that I need to develop photographs. The bad old days before digital. Alright. That's not it. Good. It's time to play photographer. The magnifier shoots its light beam, focusing right on the photographic paper. I take the page, and then I put it in the developing liquid, then in the fastener, and finally, I rinse it with water. I let the photograph dry for a while. Fifteen minutes, and the magic is done. Now I have a nice picture of Howard romancing with Harvey Weber's stepdaughter. All right then, let's go blackmail Howard. Where you want to go this time? Back to the upper east side. 65th Street. Oh. Little airs, but maybe I'm on. Yes, yes. That was a misclick. Uh, 
Yes? It's Riley. Of course, Mr. Riley. Hi, Howard. Oh, hi again, Riley. That was the wrong Bye. thing. I Goodbye. Think. Let me get the picture. Pictures, actually, okay. What do you say about these? Well, how did you get these photographs? Unlike in your movies, in real life, a detective spends most of his time trailing cheats or butlers with a nimble hand. I don't usually run into dead bodies or take exotic trips. Did you follow me to blackmail me? I'm not a blackmailer, but it looks like we have a common acquaintance, Ms. Weber. Susan? Right, Ms. Susan Weber. Howard looks like a pretty impressionable guy. I'll have to change slightly the reason why Harvey Weber hired me. Her father asked me to find her and tell him who kidnapped her. Kidnapped her? What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't kidnap anyone. You don't have to tell me that. Tell Mr. Weber. He's a six foot tall, 200 pound butcher. Not exactly the type of guy whom you can calm down by talking about the movies. Especially if you got up close and personal with his daughter. And you want to give these pictures to that man? That's what I'm paid for. I'll pay you twice as much. I'm a rich man and I can pay any amount. Don't start emptying your pockets. I've already told you I'm not a blackmailer, but you could be helpful. What do you want for these photographs? You aren't going to give them to some crazy violent guy, are you? You might be helpful for something later on. You help me and Mr. Weber will never find out about this little matter. Okay, I'll do whatever you want. But please, don't go around flashing those photographs. I have an offer for you. Uh, yes, this and the pictures, I guess. Where are the pictures? Where? No, no, no. Maybe? No. There it is. It looks like you're in the good graces of Marzetti, and that could be helpful. I don't get it. It's simple. Get Marzetti to leave his office long enough for me to take a look around. Are you joking? I don't want any problems. You already have problems. Having an affair with Mr. Weber's daughter wasn't a great idea. But if you do as I say, you won't have any problems. Me? I don't know how I could help you. You said that Marzetti was interested in your business. Yes. Good. Tell him that you've changed your mind. If he invites you to his office, make up something to get him to go out. You're crazy. I'll never accept Marzetti's offer. I don't care if you accept it or not. I just want Marzetti to leave his office. That's enough for me. You're terrible. Maybe you're right. Next time I see one of your movies, I'll take notes about how a gentleman detective acts. I sit at the bar and I order what, in this joint, is called a cocktail. I see Howard passing behind me and heading upstairs, but not before tossing a malicious glance my way. Relying on that sort of producer to get Marzetti away from his office isn't a great idea, but it's the only one that comes to mind at the moment. While I wait for Howard to come back, I drink my cocktail. Simply disgusting. There's enough sugar in it to kill a diabetic. <laughs> a few sips later, I see Howard coming down the stairs. This time, Marzetti and his bodyguard are with him. It looks like that two-bit producer actually did it, and I'm in the clear to go look around that big shot's office. Impressive he got the bodyguard as well. And also, why is he a two-bit producer? I guess successful producer that has hasn't made a flop yet. He sounds jealous. <laughs> I was supposed to be cynical and all, but yeah. 
Did they leave it open? No. The door is locked. Of course it is. Hopefully we're gonna lock any door. I'd say it's the only way I can get in. Ay, crap. Go down. Go down. Mm. Right. This look picking game is weird. Let's see what Marzetti's hiding. All right. Imported whiskey, Italian and French wines. Our Marzetti takes care of himself. A series of statues and vases from who knows where in the world. Some spears and a shield. I don't need a degree in anthropology to figure out they come from Africa. There are some glasses on the table. An issue of Upper Class, one of those magazines that teach the rich how to behave in every situation. How to eat lobster properly, what works of art to hang in the living room, and how to avoid paying taxes without getting into trouble. I like this office. It looks really nice. I'll take one. It could be helpful. Really? Okay. I'm not sure why, but from sure. the smell of it, I'd say that this glass had brandy in it. <laughs> I did not expect him to take it. A closet. Coats, shirts, ties. I'm not going to find much in here. Nope. Okay. Cool. Same thing, I guess. This looks like a puzzle. And this totem definitely takes the cake for the most garish thing in this place. I wonder how they could pick out something like this. Sorry, but I must have been absent when they were teaching the rain dance at school. Uh, so is... uh... And this totem. De I wonder how they could. Okay. What's this? A box of Cuban cigars. No, I hate the smell of cigars. Oh, come on. That's an odd thing to keep on a desk. Why? This series of discs doesn't seem like a simple knickknack. What the hell is this? All right, this looks like the totem, but uh, what? And this totem definitely uh, takes the cake for the most garish. Because you can actually in zoom into the. I wonder how they could pick out something like this. Totem, so good luck. Sorry, but I must have. Oh my god! Again, one of the biggest problems of this game: you can't actually see things very well. All right, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? There are different colors with different symbols. There's a F there, a P there, an S, and nothing, uh, whatever the hell that is, kind of an X, I guess. It's, uh, I don't know, what the... And this totem definitely takes the cake for the most garish thing in this place. I wonder how they could pick out something like this. A goddamn puzzle what? What am I looking for exactly? Ah, maybe. Okay. So green fee, red psi, yellow s. Okay, and then this is it. This is the correct one. Uh, this is the correct one. And what was the last one? I don't remember. 
Oh, that's the last one. And the other is eight. Maybe. Oh, I don't see any. Ah, oh, there is the eight. Oh crap, it turns the other ones as well. Alright. So this will not do. Only the other it's maybe. Yep, okay. That was easier than I thought it would be. A safe inside a totem. I love classy things. Hmm. I need a combination to be safe. It was I way too easy. To figure it out. I need to find a quicker way to open it. Do you have any It's closed. Yeah. Green zone safe and lock. It's closed. Uh it's closed. Sure, why not? <laughs> no, Don't think it, it doesn't make any sense. It will kill twice, but yeah. No, it doesn't yes, make any yes, fine. Maybe he has it in it somewhere. A glass. A glass. Good idea. I can use the glass is it? to hear when the cylinders of the lock click. Uh, okay, I guess we'll use it as a stethoscope. Other side. Ugh, these controls are crappy. It's closed. Yes, I know, thank you. Alright, that works. Well, open it. There's a lot of money. These wads of cash are making me think that I'm in the wrong line of work. Yeah. I'll take a wad. You will. That was unexpected. I'm sure it's dirty money, but it's better off in my pocket than in Marzetti's. There's a notebook in the safe. Yes, I'll take it. Why does he keep replying to me? This yes, I will do this. Yes, that's correct. Information in it. If Marzetti thought it needed to be in the safe, I better think about it. Uh, anything in code? Oh, it doesn't make any sense. No. Doesn't make any sense. Okay. What? I don't see anything that makes sense. Uh, maybe something from Greta. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know what you want from me. Uh... Hmm. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make any. All right. Yeah. It doesn't we'll make any sense. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make any sense. I think I'm missing something. It doesn't make any sense. But it the uh, went in here. It doesn't make it by default on its own. So come on. It doesn't make any sense. 
It doesn't make any. Well, I don't know then. Maybe I'm missing Can't something. Think of anything. All right, you know what? I'll uh, do that in the next episode. Let me save. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you next time.